4,195 pounds. This is one dynamite, good looking as Dell ultralight couples camping machine right here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. But what's great, this is small, it's light, but it's fully featured, has an extra tall ceiling and a full 60 by 80 queen bed. So even tall people like me can enjoy a smaller RV. And this is one of those great floor plans that doesn't need a slide out. You just are really going to enjoy it when it's open. So I've got it closed right now. And even a cursory glance reveals that you are 100% fully turtle friendly in this floor plan. You can still walk around the bed. You can do everything in here without touching the slide. Opening up that slide is naturally a welcome thing, though. It gives us a... It's, it's shocking how much of a difference it makes when you open up even a small slide like this. Now, a couple key notes here. This is a completely carpetless and ventless floor plan. So, uh, well, ventless flooring floor plan. There's obviously heat vents through the RV, but it makes it exceptionally easy cleaning and pet friendly. Uh, another really interesting note here is Freedom Express is very uncommon in the world of lighter weight trailers and that they're taller. This has a six foot nine interior and that is a 60 by 80 residential queen bed. So this is a very good series of campers for taller people like me. There is storage below the bed. Additionally, you see you have dual uh, side stands, hanging closets, and a full overhead cabinet. That front windshield obviously has a privacy shade, but it also lets a flood of light in here. But just like it's doing right now, it doesn't really play very nicely with the camera. So again, both sides of the bed have household and USB plugs. Um, there's also that extra vent over the top of the bed to give you some extra airflow. The TV is located conveniently enough directly across from the sofa for easy viewing. And as we go through the kitchen, uh, something I want to point out is there are outlets here. They're just not always as obvious uh, as they might seem like. There's a great coffee maker appliance outlet there. There's another set of outlets over here next to that vent hood that's very easy to miss. But before we get there, another look at the entertainment. It can pivot around. You'll see it facing the bed in just a second. Down below that, we have our Bluetooth DVD system. Also, handy little charging center here. So if you want a place to keep your phones charged up, maybe you've got them Bluetooth into the stereo or something like that, you've got a really good spot to do those things. And I love the lighter, brighter sort of color package that they put together here on these Freedom Expresses because it makes it look and feel so much larger inside. And here, this it just has great storage and countertop prep space for a small, lightweight couples camper. It starts again with the fact that we are a taller camper, so that means taller cabinets. It'll also mean uh, a taller slide out and a bigger shower, which is a really hot button item for a tall person like me. You can notice that all of our hinges are a nice hidden hinge. It gives it a nice clean look when everything is all kind of put together here. And right next to that refrigerator, you've got like a floor to ceiling big pantry. So you've got plenty of dry storage here. Now, one of the things you're looking at there is an option. That is the 33% uh, larger eight cubic foot fridge freezer to maximize really your cold storage in a gas electric application uh, of a uh, refrigerator. So the countertop is extra deep. Remember how there's that appliance space behind the stove that we looked at? Between the sealed edge counters, which Coachman has used for years and a lot of other brands have adopted, the flush mount stove and sink cover over the top, by the way, of a stainless sink system, uh, you've got some very good respectable prep space. Below we've got good drawer space over here, plywood box drawers uh, for your fork, spoons, knives, all your utensils, and they opened up every little pocket and nook and cranny they could. But then we come over here to one of my favorite things, uh, RV Nerdism number 37 for those who are keeping track, the utensil drawer. And you are required to say it with that sort of inflection. It's, uh, it, I don't know, some weird law that came out of Elkhart County where these things are built. I don't know. The fact is, it's the perfect place to keep things. Uh, it, it, it wraps storage around the sink instead of just one of those near useless little sponge drawers that you usually find in a camper. Another thing we'll commonly do to these Freedom Expresses is even though this is a small floor plan, I will very often build these with, well, I say very often, I normally build these unless there's some weird exceptional situation which we run out and I have to take whatever's at the factory just to get something quick, with a 15,000 BTU air conditioner instead of the common 13.5. A lot of people have criticized me for that saying, well, it's a small camper, you don't need to do that, it's a waste of money. Here's the thing. If...
you camp outside of the Midwest. Uh, if you're in the Phoenix Sun Country, you are not going to regret that bigger area. And also, this is not a centralized air conditioner because it is such a small trailer. So to help make sure that you get even cooling through the entire RV, I like to just straight muscle it with the bigger air unit. And when you think of it that way, it makes a lot of sense. And it's one of those things that adding the bigger air upgrade uh, from the factory level, it costs pennies compared to doing it aftermarket. So you saw that big slide window there letting in a lot of light and airflow. Then we got our little sofa over here. Those cute little decor matching uh, removable kind of pillows there. You got a fold down armrest should you, uh, you know, choose to have a place to set a drink. You want more of a cinema seat sort of thing. It's sort of a cinema style sofa. But it can very quickly and easily convert over into the Dynofa. Hiding under the foot storage of the bed in the lift up storage area is this handy free-floating table right here. So if you have a couple guests, you could put some chairs on the opposite side and be able to have a little, uh, you know, four-person card game or something like that. It is a couple's camper, first and foremost, though. So it does give two people the ability to have a place to eat. You're pretty much directly across from the TV here, but this thing is lightweight. It doesn't eat up storage space. You could use it outside because it is another sealed edge countertop. Although, due to the fact that this RV includes its own picnic table, I don't think you're going to need to. And of course, the sofa can fold down into a little guest sleeper. Those pillows, I suppose, could double as guest pillows. You've got pleated shades all the way around. Now, you see how they let a little bit of light through, but they are black shades, so they will, uh, in conjunction with the tinted windows, they will pretty much blot out the sun. And the classic old Coachman dogs at Freedom Express, they are still putting overhead storage in their slide, and when a lot of brands have dropped out a feature like that. Now, a very common question I get on a floor plan like this is, Hey, could I upgrade that to a theater seat? And it's a perfectly reasonable question. And the short answer is absolutely not. And here's why. The bottom of the slide doesn't go all the way to the floor. That's the bottom of the slide because the slide out is located directly above the wheel well. That's part of the reason this camper is also carpetless. So there's no way to put a theater seat in there because it would be mounted like 12 inches off the floor and your feet would be kind of kick dangling like in the back of daddy's old Studebaker. Over here in the bathroom, we've got a porcelain foot flush stool. Uh, not too long ago, they added this extra linen cabinet over here, and that is such a welcome addition. I've, uh, you know, anytime you get extra storage, especially in a bathroom, which in trailers is very often neglected, is great. And remember, because this is a taller travel trailer, you have a taller shower, and that big radius glass enclosure gives you lots of elbow room. We've also got more of that sealed edge countertop stuff here. And a full vanity uh, medicine cabinet, not just a mirror glued against the wall. One of the big attractions to the Freedom Express series, like its sister, the Apex here at Halet RV, is their use of Asdel in the sidewalls just below the fiberglass layering there. If you're not familiar with it, Asdel is a composite resin material. It's literally primarily made of melted pop bottles. And it is about 50% lighter than its wood equivalent. It's just a material substitute. It makes this RV lighter and the material itself can't rot mold or mildew in the event of water exposure um what's cool here is it's that asdel that helps keep the weight in check and it's really the asdel that helps us have a taller ceiling and things like it's slightly longer than some similar things with shorter camp queens this obviously has a full true queen but it keeps it kind of all in check now the current generation of these with that just just beautiful front nose cap on here it has all of the eye appeal up front uh below that uh three-quarter cap you've got your protective stone guard and there's room for two batteries right above that spare tire but that's one of the interesting things here is that they tongue mount their spare tires in coachman's ultralight brands and that helps keep uh the, the rear bumper open should you choose to add accessories at some point and it helps load equalization because weight in front of the rv tows better than weight behind one of the optional pieces of equipment we have added to this camper is that power tongue jack up front. It does the uh, you know heavy lifting for you, so especially if you're getting hitched up to weight distribution systems, you don't have to manually crank the camper up and down a few times. Now, a lot of Coachman campers in the Freedom Express series do have wide stance axles. This one does not because it is such a short floor plan. It would actually cause too much tire scrub to have the wide axles. It does, however, have a heated and enclosed underbelly, so if it's going to dip below Low freezing tomorrow then come back you're gonna be good and just like the interior just the way things are laid out on the exterior you can tell this was designed by somebody that goes actively camping things like that 
fully centralized uh, connection center just behind the slide there. Where you got your outside shower, separate cable satellite hookups, as well as a black tank flush right above your sewer connections. The rear ladder you're looking at is another optional piece of equipment we like to add to our Freedom Expresses across the board anytime we can here at Halet RV to give you access to that fully walkable roof. And we're actually going to check out a couple widgets up there before we're done. Uh, while we're looking at the rear wall here, you can see the uh, backup camera prep that's there. So whether you're looking for a uh, backup only or an in-motion observation camera, we can help you out here at Halo RV because we do all those kind of handy things. We've also got a uh, power on here that is as big as it could possibly be to give you maximum patio shaded space on a scorching hot sunny day like today or maybe if it's a little bit drizzly. But there's more going on over here than just a power awning, some LED lights, and an auto rain dump. We've got that larger handle and those stable steps to make coming and going simple and easy. And those things right there will take so much of that rock and rolling out of the RV as people come and go, it ain't even funny. Now, the RV is carpetless, it is ventless, and with the handy little combination uh, leash latch and bottle opener, it is about as pet friendly as I think any little camper could, you know, really possibly reasonably get. Uh, on the other side of these aluminum wheels here, you do have outside TV hookups. And uh, if you want to, you theoretically could mount a bracket on the outside of the camper. They give you a little sticker indicating that. I have found that very few people are really excited about modifying the fiberglass they're RV in any way. I can't blame them. I don't know that I would be much different in any regard. One of the things I really like to showcase in the Freedom Express videos though, is that huge front storage compartment. So uh, there's a simple side mount solar prep next to it and it's a perfect little place to put a uh, you know solar suitcase portable panel and the magnet holdback makes it easy getting in here. But this thing is huge and this is one of the things that Freedom Express was the first to do in the way of lightweight campers. Lightweight campers used to have very small everything. Freedom Express really was the one that said, what if we made a full-size travel trailer that just happened to be lighter? And a 42 cubic foot, uh, on average, front storage compartment here is part of that equation. Now note, ever since their 50th anniversary edition, which how about the fact that there's almost no other brands that have lasted that long. Coachman and Jayco are about the only ones out there. Uh, it comes with a picnic table. Two foot by four foot outdoor picnic table straps up out of the way so it doesn't eat up your cargo space. Now over here, these switches will activate our nose accent lighting, but they also activate that really cool full pass-through light. And since it runs the full length of the pass-through, you can actually see the entire pass-through, whether you're on this side or the other side, trying to get to your cargo. So, a lot of value from the ground level here. But like I said, we gotta get up on that optional roof ladder and check out what's up top as well. So first of all, the simple fact that I'm even up here has a fully walkable roof. Now, you notice that Freedom Express historically, they had a tan exterior, then they went to a white nose and a white roof for heat reduction purposes. Then they made the smart move, they just said, let's just go white skin across the board, let's get back that classic look and reduce the heat generated in the RV even further. When they did that, they also added these attic vents up here uh, so that the heat trapped kind of between the roof trusses and the rafters basically helps escape the RV and keeps it so much cooler. Then we got the WineGuard 360 system over here. So instead of an antenna that cranks up and down, you don't even have to turn this thing. You literally just pop a channel scan one time and ba-bam, you are good to go. That's all it takes for you to be able to get channels on your TV when you reach your destination if you're not using part cable and using over-the-air signal. That's OTA signal, by the way. A lot of people don't seem to know what that means. So hope you appreciate the detailed information. If you like what you see here, ladies and gentlemen, all we ask is for the fair opportunity to earn your business when you're ready to purchase any RV that we might offer you here at Halet RV. Because whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, and everything between, we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do it all, uh, everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.